Hi, I'm Daniel. I'm a clinical neuropsychologist within the team here in Manchester. We want to know how learning and behavior can be different for individuals with Kabuki syndrome. From worldwide research, we know that intellectual functioning in Kabuki syndrome ranges from a severe learning disability to normal levels of intelligence, with the majority of individuals displaying a mild to moderate learning disability. In assessments of memory, planning, organizing, flexible thinking and social understanding, individuals with Kabuki syndrome performed between 1.1 to 1.9 standard deviations behind people of the same age who had another genetic disorder. But what on earth does that mean? This means that people with Kabuki syndrome performed slightly worse than people with another genetic disorder in these tests. On tests of visuospatial skills such as tests of construction, jigsaws and hand-eye coordination, individuals with Kabuki syndrome performed three standard deviations behind. This means that people with Kabuki syndrome have a clear difficulty in visual and coordination tasks. In our clinics here in Manchester, we found the same patterns. We're also gathering evidence about day-to-day -day functioning. That means finding out about communication skills, daily living skills such as eating, dressing, personal hygiene, understanding money and time, and social skills. We're hoping to publish these findings to contribute to the worldwide understanding of Kabuki syndrome. Thank you for being part of it.